I <laughs> hate oh that. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to another episode of Books and Batches. Not to be confused with books and... Right out high. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop. Sorry, sorry. I'll put We're the ladies who do the announcements in Greece. <laughs> Kidding. If you are watching this podcast, you'll see that I have... What is this called? I don't know. I have a thing <laughs> to my right that plays music. If you can hear this, I hope you can hear it. They can hear that. They can Ooh. definitely hear that. You definitely hit that wrong. So that's our new... <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, we are filming this, so go ahead on over to our YouTube channel. Just search up Books and Betches and you'll find us. But anyway, not to be confused with Books and Betches. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. I'm Kristen, <laughs> and with me I have... Erica. And Maria. And actually... And actually, <laughs> we have my bestie of 10 plus years on the phone with us, Kate. Kate, say hello. Hi, Betches. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we are this is the long awaited Bridgerton episode. And of mm. course, for Bridgerton, I had to bring in the Bridgerton expert, <laughs> my best friend Kate, because she's read almost every have you read every book by Julia Quinn, babe? I think I have, apart from one. So yeah, she's Whoa, the expert. Isn't there like a thousand? There's a lot. <laughs> she's read, yeah, she's written a lot. Oh, she's, wow. she's got a lot of them. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just want to discuss this, you know, the book and the show that took the world by storm through Netflix. And is Bridgerton yeah. a series? Yeah. It is, yes. It's um, eight books. Whoa. Okay. But each book follows a different person. Each book follows each sibling's uh, love story. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that Which, at all. like, I love that. I, I, I Like, I do a lot of brother, novel, like, brother series where you, like, get at each brother. And I, like, love that because you, like, still get, like, the characters, like, in each other's books. Mm -hmm. So you, I like, can crossover. still, yeah. you're still, like, vibing with those characters, but you're just, like, all right, we're just going to take a pause and we're going to focus on Jacob now. And you're, like, all right, Jacob sucks, but I love, <laughs> like, Carlson or whatever. I don't even know what these two <laughs> names are coming from, but. Uh -huh. Uh, um, also, the disclaimer we always say: my dog Zena is here. If you're watching, you see her. Yep. She <laughs> is. She's she's um a little hyper today. She just wants to be in everybody's business. Yes. And she's gonna be doing her little whining and her talking stuff. So just ignore it. Also, another disclaimer: we're gonna spoil the series. Oh yeah. Um, the whole series or just the first book? Yeah, I was gonna ask her. Do we just want to cover I, the first book? I mean, because I, I want to talk about I the think show. We just spoil the first book. Just the first book. So we're talking about the yeah. first book, which like well, the first book is the first series on Netflix, so that's kind of already been spoiled. Oh, perfect. Yeah. perfect. perfect. Like if you haven't if you haven't watched it by now, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah we gave they, you time to watch it. What are they called then? Like what's the first one called? The Duke and I. The Duke and I. And then like what's the second one called? <laughs> we're not doing this whole thing. <laughs> Kate, what's the second one called? The second one's called The Viscount Who Loved Me, and that's mm. what the second series of Bridgerton is based on. Oh, because they're filming another. Oh, there's like, yeah. I think there's like going to be four or five seasons. Well, there's got to be eight. I, I that's what so. I said. <laughs> yeah. They sh okay. I mean, isn't that what, uh, what you're supposed to do? Like eight seasons in a movie? No, you did, you did say that. You, <laughs> you did say that. Four seasons four in a movie. Seasons <laughs> in a movie. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. All right. Bridgerton, who is it written by? Julia Quinn. Julia Quinn. What genre is this? Oh, I think this is like just full-on romance <laughs> really Hist historical historical? historical fiction romance yeah historical fiction romance yeah it gets quite steamy <laughs> Ooh. does it actually though it does like, it, it does it, is it, it does. like actually like it's not i, I is wouldn't it erotic? say it's, it's not erotic oh, right okay. Kate? it's it's more no, flowery I wouldn't call it erotic, no. okay so did you read the first book maria no you didn't <laughs> i read the second I read the second Wait, and the third right read, what i read benny's book and i read anthony's book Yep, you sure did. And uh -huh. that's the beauty of these books, is that you don't need to necessarily read them in order for it to make sense, because oh, they're separate nice. sort of storylines. Oh, that's good. They just sort of all of interweave with each other, but you don't have to read them in order for everything to make sense. Should we get into the actual book now? We should get into book one, huh? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, is Kate, Kate's going to do 60 can seconds. You, Kate, can I think you do be 60 hilarious. seconds? For Duke and I. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. For the can Duke try. and all. You can do it. <laughs> I can try. You're right. basically like a fourth member of the Books and Betches. They just didn't know it yet. <laughs> you got this. I know, but you, I've seen you girls attempt this. It's not as easy as it looks. That's why we, we have you doing Wait, it. Wait, what are you saying? I think it's perfect <laughs> every single time. <laughs> I do it very well. Yeah, me and Erica crush it yes. every time. I was just re-listening to our hike episode, the hike episode, <laughs> and it is so chaotic, you trying to do that in 60 seconds. I don't want to talk about it. And then immediately after, I, I loved watching it. Yeah. Uh, seeing, it was very funny. Oh, that was yeah. the funniest thing. 
thanks guys um okay <laughs> kate so uh for kate and for everybody listening kate you already know this because you're a fan yes. thanks for being a fan <laughs> <laughs> thanks Just for being kidding. a fan um <laughs> Uh, if you're new here, we do this thing where we attempt to tell you the entire plot summary in 60 seconds. It never goes well. Sometimes it does. Um, and we've never had a guest do it. We've never had a guest. We've never had a guest do it, though. <laughs> so, uh, Kate, I mean, just you're coming in this hot off the hot off the press. And you, it, like, literally, like, this is it. If you don't make it, this is, like, your audition. <laughs> Oh, you're God. putting so much pressure on her. Pressure. If, if don't it, do that. If it sucks, we'll just fucking hang up the phone, you know, and go on our own way. Yeah. Well, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. <laughs> you're so yep. mean. Just kidding, Kate. Okay. I no think pressure. That's a fair deal. <laughs> All right. No I think you got this because it's a pretty simple plot. Oh, and yeah. I got the timer. I'm oh, ready. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kate, we're going to count you down from three. We don't usually say one and just fucking. She works in TV too. She gets it. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, we yeah. Do. <laughs> just just uh, just get into it as much as you can in sixty seconds. Try to explain this book to us. Three, ready? right, two, right. Okay, so Duke and I, so the whole Bridgerton series. So I've said eight siblings. Each book is eight siblings, and the Duke and I is the first, and that focuses on Daphne Bridgerton, who is sibling number four, and she basically is the she's new in society. She can't find a husband, so she meets Simon, who's the new Duke of Hastings. And they basically form an agreement to pretend to date. So they're like, it's the fake dating trope, basically. So that she can get suitors and he can just get all the mamas and all the husband hunters away from him. But in the course of that time, they obviously fall in love. And then a scandal happens because they go off and sneak off and they give in to their passion. Daphne's brother finds them. For, they basically end up having to get married anyway because to avoid scandal. Mm. And then Simon's got a stutter. He's got baggage with his dead father. He doesn't want to have children. Daphne desperately wants to have children. And there's a whole Five, lot of miscommunication. Four, three. And then a lot of shit two. happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 That was actually, no, that was good. good. No, I, I think that perfect. is the best the 60 best seconds yeah, we've had on this one. show. And of course, it would be not from us. Yeah. <laughs> you, you served by our own guest. <laughs> It's fine. Oh wow! Damn, that was really My good. My heart is racing. <laughs> you were like yeah. thirty seconds in, and that's usually where it all goes downhill. Yeah. And I was like, Dis- "Damn, <laughs> this is going so well." Yeah, you did like, so. Good. I'm so proud. I am you can, too. you no, can stay. Thank you guys. You can stay. You're part of the team now. Yay! <laughs> I'm all right. an bitch. So, <laughs> so background um i obviously don't know shit about bridgerton i did i watched the first two episodes of the show look at you so hearing you do the 60 seconds i was a little bit kind of able to follow along i pictured the duke very very handsome man. handsome man <laughs> um yes, and and the lovely. girl kind of sucked but whatever um yeah. i don't know if she sucked in the book but she kind of sucked in the show in my opinion mm. um so a shit ton of sisters no brothers brothers yes. brothers and, well there's what two, two sisters? sisters there's four brothers and four sisters jesus oh, it's even oh they're, you. they're, they're the younger did we the see young all the siblings in the show yeah you do you do oh, they're like the little, little ones, babies the little yeah. ones yeah. so yeah, yeah. yeah you got the little kids and then you've got one that kind of disappears for a couple of episodes because she i don't know where she goes but then she's there as well <laughs> so um, are, are, are there parent like are the parents involved yeah um, yep you've got okay. her mother violet bridgerton but violet their father's Brid- dead okay how does the book like start like does it start from somebody else's point of view like this narrator or does it start with like the family is like like how is it written so it's written um sort of in third person but it's written in each chapter you've got either daphne's point of view or simon's point of view oh dual Dual and it begins with your favorite thing christina it begins with a prologue no Mm. (laughs) Yeah, I wouldn't and it's read basically it. the prologue is basically Simon's childhood, his upbringing, and we basically see the struggle he went through because his father, the Duke, the current Duke of Hastings at that time, he is basically horrible to his son because his son grows up with a stutter and he mm-hmm. can't talk, mm-hmm. and his father basically says, "I've I've got an idiot for a son. The dukedom's gonna, you know, disappear. It's gonna fail. I've got an idiot for a son. Why has this happened to me?" Mm-hmm. And he basically just neglects him and rejects him. So this really stems into Dad Simon's psyche. And, he, and he, yeah, he's a dick, basically. And it stems into Simon's psyche. And he's like, well, I'm going to be then the opposite of everything you've ever wanted from a son. Ooh. I don't care. I don't care Ooh. about you. Like I'm not gonna give I'm not gonna give you an heir. I'm not. I'm going to end the name with me. Yeah, he's like, it's like, dead with exactly. me, man. I, but like, 
<laughs> like I, I I loved Bridgerton. Don't get me wrong. That's a stupid thing to hang hang your hat on. Like, well, if you're thinking about it in the time, biting, that's though. biting your nose to spite your face. Right, but like in the time, imagine that all you are is your name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's your. That's, that's 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 you to a T. So if you decide that your name no longer matters to you or anyone else, like you're letting a dukedom just die off. I get it up until Pretty the true. point where he was like in love with Daphne, being like, I can't, I can't do this with you. And it's like you're gonna that's forsake what, your is love. It, is it being super petty and annoying at that point? Yeah, yeah agreed. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. that's a tough thing. Like I get it all the way up until the point of like, oh, I can't marry this girl that I really love, and we're really fucked if I don't marry her. We and so the conflict. So he ends up yeah. falling in love. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, I don't know the story. I mean, it, it's it's the it's the typical trope of like fake engagement, fake marriage, yeah, fake relationship, really and then yeah. they fall into Daphne's love. Daphne's trying to snag a husband, right? Yeah. But her older brother Anthony is being annoying about it. No one's good enough for his little sister, and he because their father is dead, Anthony is now the the man of the household. So he's trying to take a charge of everything, but he's putting a damper on Daphne getting a husband. Damn a damn Daphne a damper. Damn da- yeah. So <laughs> Daphne's pissed about it. She gets <laughs> she starts talking to this dude. I can't remember how he had like a little bit of a tiff, a little little back and forth. A tiff, and it was like a little enemies to love. Yeah, us. it's a little enemies thing because they sort of yeah. So she didn't realize he was a duke, and then she finds out he's a duke and she's like i don't still, i don't care if you do i don't i don't care I how like cool that. you are right I like that. so then with them talking he goes and says well what you need to do is make these men jealous make them want you kind of thing right kate is that how it goes yep 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 so they do then they start the whole fake dating thing and through the and fake it dating it works all these all men are it. coming for her mm-hmm. but at the same time she's like the duke though yeah because he's I mean, not for nothing, there was not one man that was even close to as hot as he was. Nope. Was he hot in the book, Kate? Yeah, he's described as incredibly handsome. Yeah. I love that. Incredibly. (laughs) Incredibly handsome. Like, all the women want him. How is Daphne in the book? Is she, like, kind of just... Is she annoying? or is she? (laughs) Well, I actually reread the book recently because I wanted to freshen my memory of it because... Uh, it was about four years ago I last read it, but she's actually a little bit annoying in the books. Mm. Really? And what she way? seems yeah, annoying they, on all levels. Yeah. The Katniss well, the problem. Show, they've made, they've, I think on the show version, I think they've given her more of a backbone. Mm. She kind of she's more feisty in the show version, from what I gather, and then in the book version, she's just I, I don't know a little bit. The naivety definitely comes off a whole lot more. Yeah. And I find I found that even though I understand that that's the whole point in for women in those days, it was kind of it, it was kind of annoying. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I. So you didn't get far enough in the show for this, right? So when they end up, the duel happens for some reason of like to to save her honor or something, and Simon's like, "Yeah, fine, I'll go shoot this guy instead of like declaring my love and marrying you." Wait, before you even get to that, okay, Simon is the duke, so yeah. he yes. ends up falling in love with her, even though they were only dating fake they were fake dating yeah that's like a trope that's the trope Wait, that's why a, that's were, a but trope. why were they fake dating just because to she make, couldn't get men to make her feel more desirable if you're but why if, did he agree what did he have that he was so just like yeah i'll he do that he didn't want it he didn't like there was because he's very desirable he did he doesn't want to get married oh so he's like oh so he's, he's like, like if oh, i have a chick bitch, that i'm not okay. dealing i'm not actually with then her nobody will bother me. Gonna bother me i got you so it was a deal that was worked mutually beneficial so who fell in love with who first me at the same time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, irrelevant. The same time. Okay, so they fall in love with each other, and now why don't they just get married? Because he doesn't want, he doesn't want children. To, that's what yeah. I was saying. Like that's he made he made a vow to his father, saying, "I will never marry, and I will the the dukedom, the title will mean so much to you. It means more to you than I ever did. So I'm just gonna let it die out, and I'm never gonna marry." So he's made that vow. Wow. And he wants to keep that vow with everything that he's got, even if that means not marrying the woman that he actually has fallen in love with. Dude, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. That's yeah. like it committed to revenge to the point where it's like, bro, chill the fuck just out. Take yeah. a ch- the guy's yeah. dead. Like, why can't, why like, can't you're your dead? Your dad's dead. He's, he's dead. dead. His, dad. his dad's dead this whole time. <laughs> he's got he's got real bad daddy issues. But like, his dad's dead. Very much so. Yeah. So, so what about his mom? Dead also. Dead also. Died, yeah. died giving birth. So like, died wouldn't, wouldn't oh, the wow. best revenge be like, no, I'm gonna continue the name, yeah. and my kid is gonna be the coolest kid. Yeah, ever. my kid's gonna be loved, and he's gonna and be like great. super nice, and like yeah. I'm gonna do everything my dad wouldn't do. Like that's like, usually how it goes. So that's like well, that's really eventually what happens. Like Daphne is basically what makes him realize at the very very yeah. end of the book, after a whole lot of stupid miscommunication <laughs> and things like that, that's eventually what he realizes. So uh, I'm so. sorry. Did you say there was a duel? 
Yeah, there was a <laughs> duel. Yeah, was duel. Okay, do, do you want to explain the duel and why it came about? Yeah, I'm confused. So basically, there's like a scene in the book and that you see there's Simon and Daphne basically given to a moment of their passion and they just start like kissing like in a garden hidden away from everybody. Of course. But Daphne's brother, Anthony, catches them. Oh, no. And he then basically says to Simon, marry my sister. You have to marry my sister now because I've seen you do this. And Simon refuses. Wow. And so he doesn't in, want that, yeah. in that situation, circumstance, the only logical conclusion for that for Anthony is to challenge him to a duel. <laughs> but for course. Daphne's honor. Death is yeah. the only answer to this. <laughs> yeah. Not communication. Love, love Death. Death. <laughs> The only way to sell things among gentlemen is either talking or you know, someone must duel. die. <laughs> what I yeah. see, what I, whenever I hear a duel of gentlemen, all I envision is a man taking off his glove and slapping the other one. <laughs> <with it. laughs> I love that. And that's yep. all I want to see. It's just like yeah. I challenge you, sir. <laughs> I love that. No, none of that happens in the book or in the show. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> so one of the uh, major things from the book to the show that um, most people don't know is that like. Queen Charlotte is not actually in the books. No, she's not. Who's and she, she, that's the queen of England yeah. at the time. And she is arguably probably one of the more favorable characters. She's so funny. I thought she was a hoot and a half. I loved her. She was so, by far one of my favorite like side yeah, characters. Yeah, so she, they added her into the show. And she is sort of like an integral part of the character. She like has a, th- a ball kind of thing to determine who's like the, the diamond of the rough this the di- season. The diamond of the, the season. The diamond of the season. And so yeah. when, when Daphne shows up in the, in the first episode, she declares, oh, that's the bitch. That's the girl <laughs> that's going to be the, ni- the cutest one she's oh, the yeah, one everybody wants yeah, yeah, she's yeah, gonna yeah. get the best husband yeah i'm calling it now i'm always right i'm the queen of england so then on top of all this which we haven't discussed at all is lady whistledown well i was gonna ask about that that's where this gossip girl vibe comes into this it book is series. God. it's uh-huh. not a vibe it is go- okay. it is so so historical out, gossip because this is why i asked kate what how the book was written because if you watch the show bridgerton there's a voiceover that yes. basically leads you through the show yeah so my question yeah. kate is in the book do you get her point of view at all you do each chapter begins with like an extract of um what she's written in her society papers which is cool and it kind of relates to either what's just happened previously or what's kind of hinting at what she's seen so like you know oh you know this author saw the duke arrive last night but but he did not have daphne on his arm one wonders why that is and it's kind of like that and then it leads on to the actual chapter i like that what's actually happening so we find out who Lady Whistledown is at the end of this season. Which I'm pissed oh, about. Yeah. So I am fucking so hate that. angry about yeah. it. The, angry this is. Th- do you find this out at the end of the book? No. No, you find that out in book four. Whoa. Wow. That's a big gap. Yeah. That's yeah. a See, big gap. See, for me, mm-hmm. the last episode, you know, you're like sick. I loved it all. Like the, you know, you they make you think that it's one person. And then you find out it's not that person. There's like a lot mm-hmm. of like twists and turns throughout the series or throughout the ser- the season, and it's like we didn't. I didn't need that. We didn't need to know. I didn't need it. Like we I did yeah. not you need know, to like, know. Like I've never felt that way about a TV show where I sat there and I went, I didn't need this fucking information. Yeah. Like please don't no, tell I me. Was, I I think I ranted to Kate after I watched you it. You did. You were I very was angry. Very <laughs> upset because. <sighs> listen. <laughs> I I just didn't like how sort of lazy fair they did it. It was mm. like just thrown in there, like oh, there is the reveal. And I didn't like. Do you think it, is it, it Kate? I don't know if it's gonna ruin mm-hmm. it for the girls, but is it the right reveal or are they trying to throw us for a loop? No, it's the right. It's the right one. Uh, I asked yeah. her too. I was like, "Well, tell me, is this a lie? Is this fake?" That would have been. That's, what I, that's what I thought they were doing too, because it cool. made like how they like cut it and everything it like felt like we weren't gonna know and i was like yes don't tell me i love this it got cut it got cut so go ahead honey i was gonna say Mia. do you remember you were texting me and you were like well what what's that about what just happened is is she like working for whistle down is that yeah Uh, because the way it was edited was did have had no like weight to it yeah it was just thrown in there we didn't need it so who was it it was the it was the little um what's her Penelope. 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 Who's Penelope? The little redhead, the little, the little chubby redhead. redhead. Could you tell throughout the series? No, no, which was, which was so good about. There was, well, there was in hindsight you can like once you have yeah. her revealed, you can tell the moments where she obviously knew information. Yeah. Because she happened to be in the area, but the way it was done throughout the show, you wouldn't have known, and it was so good. 
And you he, don't know in the books either. That's why actually in book four, when it is revealed, I actually it was a bit of a surprise to me because I didn't really see it coming. Like four oh, books. That's cool. such a cool twist. That's such a that's good, a, that's yeah. a good, like four books feels so. Four like, seasons. Like, yeah. yeah. Did you want to know? And Gossip Girl, we didn't know the entire fucking time. What Dude, was that, eight seasons? Gossip Girl was eight seasons. And even at the end, we still knew. We got it in scene one of Gossip Girl, that dance fucking Gossip Girl. He's literally in yeah. front of the computer. Um, we knew Writing. It. So I spoiled it for you. We knew. Yeah. We knew. Yeah. So if you, if you don't guy? know Dan Humphrey, is Gossip Girl? Then I am so sorry. I've never seen a single episode. Well, you're never going to. No. That's why the memes. That's why the memes for the show you that the same guy is on is like, look what Dan Humphrey went from. He went from going to be Gossip Girl <laughs> to now being a serial killer stalker. So it same makes sense. life. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> but yeah, so that like to me that was a big minus, um, which is weird because Shonda Rhimes is queen above all queens. So like I I was very surprised at that decision making. Yeah, I would love to ask her why they did that. Again, she's just an executive producer. She didn't write every episode. But. A part of me wonders whether they did it just in case they didn't get options for another series. That yeah. that, that crossed my mind. That's a good point. Which but is just answer, crazy. But. Like, anything Shonda Rhimes touches is gold. You know yeah. it was going to get us. Yeah. Yeah. Shonda could have fucking funded the second se- season. Oh, I have a big question. Because this was, it. like, the biggest news was that the Duke's not going to be in the second season. Is that only because he's not in the second book? Yet? Yeah, the, the second book yeah. is a whole new character. Uh, What's yeah. the point of him being there? Uh, I don't know why exactly. everyone bugged out. The second book is Anthony's story. Anthony, okay, which one's that? The, the older the brother. Older brother. The oldest brother. He's the the kind of dick one. He do we had, care? That's the thing. Like, do we care about him? I cared about his book. I oh, liked it. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, likes him. All right. What was your, I like him. What was your <laughs> least favorite book, Kate? Oh, my least favorite. Um, probably one of the later ones. Uh, there's so you know the the youngest child, Hyacinth. What a name. She has she has a book when she's like in her early 20s. And that one mm-hmm. I actually can't remember much of because it was quite dull. So yeah. I think that one might be. I remember nice I was book. reading what's, uh, was it A Night Like This? Which one's that yeah, one? Yeah, that's, that's in the Bridgerton universe, but that's not Bridgerton. But oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I didn't finish that one. I was really bored. No. That's the thing about these books. I feel like I would just be so bored. Like, I, I, here's the thing. Okay, this is also something I wanted to ask you, Kate, because you're, you're coming from a different background than us. You know, you grew up... Yeah. Where did you grow up in, in the UK? In, uh, like uh, the West Midlands is what it's okay. called. So, so yeah. you grew up in that area. So, like, I mean, you are you have a different perspective when you read these books uh-huh. right like yeah well, i'm an american reading about like America. the shit that <laughs> british i know history, nothing, yeah. british history so like I, I, i'm just curious like your point of view like do you feel i don't know do you feel a little bit more connected to it in that way i, I think I, I think i do yeah i've always had such a love of history in general anyway and i'm a huge jane austen fan mm. um like pride and prejudice sensibility emma like i just adore those that genre and those stories so I think, yeah, I do have that bit of a connection. But Julie Quinn is actually an American author, I think. Oh, really? Which makes it even... Yeah. yeah oh, I didn't which know makes that. It, it's Americans you know, it, reclaiming. Of shit, course, because we like, always win. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I, do this, but I do this right with her often, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to s- just slide over that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she she's very good with it with her information i think it's all very authentic cool. and apart from the um very steamy raunchiness <laughs> yeah. which again it's not ex- it's not super explicit right kate it's not like no i wouldn't say it's super explicit i mean i've read more i've read stuff that's more explicit so i feel like we do have to touch on the one controversial thing uh, uh, no. you're trying to make yeah. things keep things light should we do a trigger warning yeah trigger warning yeah yeah yeah. This is about consent. Yeah. Questionable, con- dubious consent, as Maria likes to call it. It's That's an actual term. <laughs> <laughs> you get to yeah. have dilapidated. Let me have dubious consent. <laughs> I like that. Um, basically, so the, the main conflict that Daphne and Simon have throughout their marriage in the beginning is that Daphne, like all women in the society, have been told that all they should like or all they should want is to have children and build a family. Daphne wants to build a family. She wants to be a mother. And... She finds out through Simon that, you know, he can't. Yeah. He doesn't explain that it's not a can't thing. It's a won't thing. Um, through this, right, uh, the entire time I, that Simon and Daphne are having relations, he always pulls out. <laughs> <laughs> he went from having relations to did pulls they, out. Did they know that that was, like, d- like back then? I, wanna, I don't yeah, know. They have did they to know, know that, that, like. The men knew. They did. Mm. But the women the did it. definitely knew. The women did not. The women didn't get really? it. Really? Because they're not taught. Yeah. As part of the series is like, you know, some of these, some of the sisters like don't know 
what sex is. Yeah. And like mm. Daphne like, doesn't know so what Daphne sex is. So Daphne's like, they're having this great stuff, great sex and stuff. And he's always like, you know, not finishing with, you know, the whole. The whole and thing. she doesn't even know what sex she is up until it. the point that he puts his penis inside of her. Yeah. So. She Holy doesn't shit. understand. She never really got a but hold of But they're the consensually whole having sex. In the beginning. Consensually 100%. having sex. Oh, gosh. Until then, she finds out final through, it wasn't through her mother. It was through like a lady's maid or one of her like uh, nannies kind of thing. Yeah. She finally asks her, how are babies made? Like, how does this oh happen? Oh, boy. And she explains what it is. So Daphne feels extremely betrayed because it wasn't that he can't actually physically have children. It's that he was choosing not to. Oh. And she wanted a child. So they have, when she finally like sort of brings it up to him, they kind of have a little fight about it. And then at one point, she goes in there starting to have sex. And at this point, he's like about to do what he usually does is when he pulls out. Mm-hmm. Daphne like takes power, gets on top of him. I don't know if that happens in the book, but Whoa. gets on top of him mm. and forces him to finish in her. Whoa. And yeah. he's very upset about it. Yeah. And she's like, well, I wanted a kid and this is the way I'm going to get a kid. Holy shit. Does that happen yeah. in the book? Yeah. It does unfortunately yeah wow. does it so compared to the show kate does it match yeah. well like i said when i reread the book i think the book version is worse than the show version wow because huh. explain he's because <laughs> she's kind of yeah come to that realization of okay he hasn't been 100 percent truthful with me i don't 100 percent know why but i want a child so okay wait a minute he's asleep right now and then she kind of just sort of tries to, she kind of arouses him while he's asleep. And then he wakes up and then they, they, they do it. But then he's still kind of half, well, I don't know if he's still half asleep by this point, but you know, she's, yeah, she kind of holds him under her so that he can finish inside her. That's and fun. yeah, I remember I was cringing when I was reading that because like, that was the second time I read that scene. And to be fair, this book is. 20 years old like right. over 20 years old is it from so her point of view it's, like it's her perspective it's from, it's from daphne's point of view yeah when oh, this wow. is happening Shit. um and i think it's just part of her naivety again because after after the act he, they have a huge argument he like feels so betrayed by her by her actions and she's kind of trying to understand why he lied to her in the first place and then she starts thinking maybe i shouldn't have done what i did and mm. then it, yeah, it, it, the, the, and then they kind of he kind of goes off from one and has like a little tantrum somewhere else, and it's a very awkward point in the book, really. Yeah. So then they have sort of like a waiting period to see if she actually does become pregnant. Because remember, he doesn't yes. want kids. No. So then once she's not pregnant, he like really rates her off. Yeah, it's like sort of oh, like so we're, she we're just pregnant. she doesn't end up Thank being God. pregnant. He's like we're gonna live separate lives. Good. Like I can't do that. Well, yeah. That that isn't actually how it happens in the book. Really? Hmm. In the book version, he says. Um, if you're with child, as they call it, <laughs> if you're with child, I'll do the honorable thing by you. Then, you know, I'll take care wow. of you both. But then, yes, that, that'll, that'll be it. Yeah, we're done. But then she go, she I think she goes back to London. He stays in the country. And then when she thinks she's pregnant, she writes to him. He comes to visit her. But they're like ships in the night. She goes off somewhere just as he's arriving. Ooh. He hears that she's gone off like horse riding. And he's furious because she's pregnant and she's riding a horse. She's being dangerous. Why is she doing that? <laughs> Meanwhile, so women today, like, of... power lift yeah. while pregnant. <laughs> yeah. So he basically goes off to go find her. She has a little accident and she does fall off the horse. And he's, like, then at this point angry and frantic. He's like, what are you doing? You could have hurt the baby. Why, why are you being so reckless? Da-da? And then that's when she reveals she's not actually pregnant. Oh, wow. she was She was mistaken. Wow. And um, she said, why do you, and she's like, why do you care though? You didn't even want this baby. It was like, she sucks. Um, yeah. but, but then, yeah, but then it was coming, you know? So it did it. And that's what kind of wow. begins that new point in their relationship. So do they, they don't get back together then? They do. No, they do. They everything's do. everything's they do. a happy ever after. Yeah. How All do you fucking after. get back with that? That's insane. He realizes after the whole, like, you know, I also, thought he you wasn't were pregnant. Like, lo- he wasn't, it's but even, I understand the whole she was like deceived with the thing she misunderstood all he said was i can't have kids that's what he, he was saying yeah but he, he didn't elaborate yeah. he said i can't not oh, i won't oh, oh, oh. and that is a miscommunication that yeah. she doesn't know purposeful because purposeful yeah. yes and also i hate the fact that it's like 
because she wasn't told by her mother the right way that hey this is what happens when yeah men and women get married and they're starting a family this is how you do the family thing yeah, yeah. she doesn't understand the whole thing i even though i get it of the times it's just how women were raised it still pisses me off like yeah i was yeah. watching the show and i i got to the scene i texted kate i think you were sleeping kate but i texted <laughs> no, her and you weren't you were awake <laughs> i texted kate and i was like don't tell me this is about to happen right now and then she sort of gave me like a uh, kind of answer yeah. and i was like <laughs> I was I had to stop watching. I literally didn't Damn. watch for two more days because I was so angry. Because it's like, imagine if the worlds were reversed. If a yeah. man did that yes. to a female, right? That would terrible. Right. Would be it would be like fires, riots. Mm -hmm. But because she did it to him, yeah, it's it not little, like, considered as bad. It's interesting. Yeah. So um, I don't know if you watch Shameless, but Shameless, the last season, there's an episode where Carl. Um, he's one of the kids. Spoilers. Um, spoilers. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> Never seen the show either. Carl is a cop and a bunny chase, a uh, badge, a bunny badge, a ba bunny, bunny what? badge, what? bunny, a badge bunny, a badge bunny. What I don't know if you've ever heard bunny? that term. No. Like girls who like, oh, like love a hockey bunny. fucking cops. Like a puck oh, bunny. Yeah. What's Letter a Kenny? puck bunny? Girls who love hockey players. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm learning bunny. new things. Go on. So yeah, she's a badge bunny and she like purposely like seeks him out. To tr because cops have such good like incentives and like oh, benefits, good. benefits yeah. they try to like get pregnant by cops mm. so that they like their kids have like Yikes. good situations mm. so she like kind of like persuades him to not use a condom mm. and then like he tries to pull out and she like won't let him Damn. so she finishes like he finishes inside her and he's just like what the fuck and everyone's like oh yeah she raped you and yeah. like that was just like very clear and he like puts in um a like you know a complaint to the police officers and blah, blah blah and he was like yeah she raped me and everyone kind of just like laughs at him that's fun and it's like it's just an interesting that's the reality like i I, th I immediately related that to bridgerton on the flip side not and this is just devil's advocate this is not like my actual opinion um i have done a little bit more further research about just like i would say like the inequality of men and, and just like the situations of like if revolt if roles were reversed this would never happen people wouldn't you know act the same that, way yeah at that time it would have been overlooked too. um so uh, one of the opposing arguments is that like well you know women aren't men aren't afraid of women mm. so like this is a different situation because like women are scared uh like the the flip side of it is like a more like fundamental predator situation yeah so it is different in the set I'm, I'm not saying this is how i believe but the theory behind it is that it is different because of the natural um aggressions that men have had historically towards women mm. did she need to force him to come inside of her in order to prove the point no she no. could have had a fucking they could have conversation. Had conversation but there you go they're the same person did he need to fucking keep you know sticking it to his dead dad and keep saying oh, for do sure that, do that. but who does that hurt is that is that sounds like a they good enough suck. reason no absolutely not but it sounds like they both suck at communicating oh yeah but that's that's, well, that's, each that's other. romance that's the romance trope <laughs> yeah. the miscommunication <laughs> romance is a given kate did you like okay this is going to be like our kind of final final closing thoughts here did you okay. think that the show did a good job portraying the book uh I Ooh. think so. It added some elements because the book is actually, it's like, it's quite a short book. So they've added some oh. extra things like the, the, the prince, for example, like Queen Charlotte, they're not in the book. Okay. Um, they added more with Benedict's storyline and like more with Eloise. And it feels like they're the, setting they, up the next books without getting into yeah, the next books. Exactly. Yeah. So they, there was a lot more add ons, which kind of gave it more depth, I thought. But I think they did a good job with the material so you'll be watching and, season um, two i will oh be yeah, too 100 oh, yeah. as long I was as there's not a it. second rape scene yeah i was um, questioning it no. i was like i don't know if i want to if i want to deal no, with that but that. again good. like a lot of other shows do cover rape and stuff and yeah. it's it's a discussion that has to you know outlander i know that's yeah. what i'm saying outlander so it's like if it opens up the right discussions on you know also touching on men that do get abused and yeah. they their stories matter just as much as women's do mm -hmm. then yes i'm okay with that it starts yeah. conversations that don't get to be spoken 
Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't want it just because Cena, please. Kate, you have like the <laughs> one up on everybody then going into season two. Because like, I mean, going into all of the seasons, I you mean, know. So do I. I read book two, too. Yeah, whatever. You know everything that's going <laughs> to happen. So like, do you feel almost like you're, you have more knowledge than all of us? Because that's how I would feel. A little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, see, I see people on like Instagram and um, Twitter and all that talking about it. And they've got their own theories. And I don't get involved in debates with fans and stuff like that that's like, good you know, she's above that yeah i literally i'm just, i could not care less about that but when i see some comments i'm like guys we're crying out loud read like the texts <laughs> you'll get your answers. read the texts we we it's know what's right gonna now, happen <laughs> there's what i just <laughs> say i just want to say that when that's this so show was announced Kate lost her shit <laughs> like so excited I, uh, yeah. like yeah. so i've never seen someone more happy for a tv <laughs> show than kate well, for bridgerton awesome. and it was the sweetest thing because yeah. it because oh. kate and i have been talking about these books for years like she's been yeah. in love with these books so when this actually got announced she didn't expect it to happen right, right? No, it was I like what not. the f- what my favorite series ever is actually being in, like what <laughs> yeah was it was so a happy. very big moment <laughs> i mean that's exciting you get to see your fucking visions come to life and by shonda s- rhymes of all yeah. people like you couldn't have I chosen know, yeah. a better executive it's, producer i think she crushed it no. yeah she really I think she's done a great it. job yeah. with it i really do so there's a lot of good you mentioned that there's other books in that um the in series. that world so mm-hmm. that are not bridgerton like are those some yes. so I because we're coming to the recommendations part of this podcast where we try mm. to like recommend books that are similar. Would you say that the books within that Bridgerton like world that aren't Bridgerton? Would you recommend those books to people who like this show or the series? Yeah, I would because because they're um they're still set within the Bridgerton universe and like you might hear their name dropped in every now and then but the characters are sort of separate from them. They've got their own storylines, their own romances, their own scandal, their own problems. But each character, like like I said, I, I've read all of her books apart from maybe one. Wow. And each character has its their own sort of personality, their own thing, and they all feel individual. One of my f- other favorites is one called, uh, I think it's called What Happens in London. <laughs> nice. I think I, I read that one. Yeah, I think I, I definitely, I think I begged you to read that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Much. Isn't that with like that, that the two people that are like neighbors? Yeah, 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 they're neighbors. Oh, yeah, and there's cool. like a, he's like a Russian sort of translator spy kind of thing. He works for like the army and things like that. And oh yeah, it's just it's just a lot of fun that one. That's awesome. Do you guys have any recommendations in the Bridgerton? No, no? I don't read that many historical. I mean, fictions. Kate just crushed it for us. You crushed the sixty <laughs> seconds. She crushed it. The I know. Good job, Kate. I'm proud Yay. of you. Um, Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm just relieved I did because, like, literally, my heart was racing during that. No, oh, you did amazing, right. honestly, and you brought a lot of insight to this. So thank you, because none of us really had that book. Yeah, that's why like, I called you in the expert. Yeah, none of us had that yeah. book knowledge, so that that definitely helped a lot, and we appreciate. Believe you. me, it was my pleasure. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Anybody have anything they want to say before we wrap this up? Um, I I firmly believe that if you are a lover of historical romances, that you should read all of Jane Austen's novels. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I completely agree with that. And I just want to say thanks to Kate for taking the time. Yes, I know you're five hours ahead over there, so we appreciate <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, dang, taking like, the time. No, time to go to bed. Thanks for having me on, girls. Honestly, I've loved it. Yeah, we'll have okay. you on again. We'll we'll pick another like Jane Austen book or something. <laughs> we should. Yeah, we'll do a Jane Austen book and um, yeah. actually, yeah, I think we have to do that. Okay, yeah, sounds right. like love one. you, Kate. Nice one. Kate, Bye. thank you so much. We'll we'll see Bye. you in the next Bye. one. Bye. Bye, bitches. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't with you.